yes you guys guessed it right so um, you know this is not a clickbait but this is my story of you know how i got infected with covid so i was really not sure whether i should make this video but uh, yeah some of my friends in insisted that yes uh, i need to do this because uh, this can you know uh, give some more information to people you know because this is from uh, a survivor's point of view so yes so yeah uh, this is how the things unfolded so like since lockdown started you know neither me nor my family members used to go out often like except for residential or for any emergencies uh, but yeah i used to go with my mother uh, like once in a month to hospital for a regular checkup and stuff so when we went uh, to hospital in the month of july uh, we were asked to get a covid test uh, done um, so we went at with the test um, because obviously we didn't have any symptoms and you know we were like almost confident that you know the result is going to be negative but uh, when the result came surprisingly it was positive so we were like you know uh, i mean we we couldn't expect uh, i mean we couldn't believe that you know uh, the result is positive so we thought something is wrong with the test and it cannot be positive because we all were doing absolutely fine so we decided to go with the retest and unfortunately again it comes out positive so uh, like we had done another option but we had to shift her to the hospital uh, she was uh, there in the hospital for like you know 4 to 5 days and uh, i mean uh, while i mean while she was in the hospital also she didn't have any symptoms and then uh, she got discharged after 5 days and, uh, so after she came back from the hospital uh, one day i got fever so like when she was already positive um, i was kind of mentally prepared that yes even i'm going to turn positive so uh, me and my father we decided to get ourselves tested uh, fortunately my father tested negative but uh, i was positive uh so after the result came i didn't get any symptoms after that i mean it was only before the result i mean it was only before the test that i got fever once so since i was asymptomatic uh, i was i was under home isolation like for around 14 to 17 days i didn't get any uh, symptoms you know while i was in um, you know home isolation um, so after like 14 to 17 days uh, my isolation got over and then uh, yeah i got recovered for the 48 hours you know that is from the time we did the first test till the second result came um it was like absolute hell for us i mean i don't know how to react you know <laughs> it was so difficult for me uh, because all unexpected things were happening i was kind of physically and you know mentally numb uh, i don't even know how to explain that situation you know the officials calling us back to back you know they asking us to shift uh, my mother to hospital and they informing our neighbors that my mother is positive so after that i mean once the neighbors got you know they were like you know running uh, you know um, here and there i mean running for their lives literally shutting the doors and windows uh, but yeah, i'm not blaming anyone they were doing their job had i been in their position i mean had i been there in my neighbor's position probably even i would have done the same thing but uh, after this incident you know one thing is that uh, my approach towards a covid positive patient has changed drastically and i think it's because uh, you know the fact that uh, you never know how it feels you know until it happens to you uh yeah treatment i took so uh, i mean we all uh, know that you know there is no such specific treatment for this but uh, see if if you have any symptoms you know you will be given uh, treatment for that like if you have uh, cold you will be given treatment for cold or fever like In my case uh, neither me nor my mother had any symptoms so we didn't uh, have any treatment as such but yeah we were uh, having vitamin tablets regularly regular vitamin tablets and um, we used to drink hot water lots of water drink lots of hot water that's very good hot or warm water avoid cold water and you can uh, do salt water gargle that's very good and uh, hot water steam as well you know this is what i did you know if you are a person who is covid positive what is it you have to do So if you're a person who is awaiting your result or is covid positive first and foremost thing don't panic because panicking is not going to help you in any way it will only put you down mentally and emotionally um, so if if you have any symptoms uh, try to get medical help immediately and if you don't have any symptoms if you're an asymptomatic patient then just chill relax you're going to be fine if you know any person you know who is covid positive in your neighborhood or in your friend circle first and foremost thing is you know don't treat him like a criminal this is out of my own experience you know please don't treat him like a criminal this virus is there everywhere anyone can get affected so uh, you know uh, what is that you can do is you know try to give him an emotional support you know because uh, call him up speak to him you know there's a stigma that's associated with this virus i think you know uh, for a covid positive patient an emotional support is what is required more than anything else um uh you know an emotional support can definitely you know help him come out of that you know depressed situation uh 
And one more thing uh, which you can uh, do is like if a person is COVID positive, obviously his family members would be under quarantine and uh, they won't be able to come out of their house. So you can probably try to get them some essentials, right? You can call them up. I mean, you can call them up and you know ask them uh, if they need any you know essential requirements, and you can uh, you know, try to get that. So guys, yeah, this was all about my experience of fighting with the virus. Uh, something I can never forget in my lifetime. But you know, I think there's a silver lining for everything. And for this, you know, it was the fact that this incident kind of helped us to, you know, identify who are the true and uh, fake human beings around us. So that's it for now. Um, do share this video with your friends whom you feel should watch this. And uh, yeah, one more thing, most importantly, don't pull down your mask. Let it be like this. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.